स्टोरी टेलिंग इज अ टाइमलेस ह्यूमन ट्रेडिशन इट वॉज अराउंड इवन बिफोर राइटिंग एज वी नो इट केम इन टू एग्जिस्टेंस एक्चुअली न्यूमरस स्टडीज इज शोन दैट ह्यूमन्स एब्जॉर्ब एंड रिटेन कॉन्सेप्ट बेटर वेन दे कम्युनिकेटेड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ स्टोरीज यू हर्ड मी टॉकिंग अबाउट स्टोरी टेलिंग बिफोर द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ स्टोरी हाउ डू यू बेसिकली डिफाइन द स्टोरी वेन यूर टॉकिंग अबाउट डैशबोर्ड्स बट वेन इट कम्स टू प्रेजेंटेशन एंड बिल्डिंग प्रेजेंटेशन स्पेशली the art of storytelling comes to the fore presentations when you think about it both building them as well as delivering them at their core are about storytelling storytelling allows us to turn mundane and seemingly dull topics to very engaging presentations now a question might be in your mind how do i turn a daily routine technical topic into an engaging story well let me give you a real life industry example zendesk is a company that offers cloud based customer service support they noticed that potential customers were searching for the term zendesk alternatives on google could have been probably because of the pricing they had at that time any number of reasons so the company decided to weave storytelling into its marketing campaign they built a site called zendesk alternative when you visit the site it's still uh, in function you greeted by a music band which seems unrelated to the cloud service zendesk offers so what's going on here well All the music Zendesk alternative created is about how cool customer service is. What a wonderful and unique strategy. They've seen quite the rise in sales after launching this campaign. Don't you just love the power of storytelling? Why a storytelling we can elevate our presentations to an entirely different level. Many studies done by renowned and well-respected experts show how our brains are wired to be receptive to stories. This wonderful quote by Robert Maggi sums up the power of storytelling. He says stories are about how we remember. We tend to forget lists and bullet points, but we inherently remember stories. Now, sometimes our storytelling goal is fairly obvious. It could be delivering a TED talk or a similar presentation in front of a massive audience, or it could be about addressing your employees about a new strategy or update in the company. Basically, what you would typically see in those town hall meetings. or it could be about launching a new product or convincing your leadership team to include a new feature that will enhance the bottom line whatever the reason the storytelling goal must jump out at you but what if the topic of a presentation is utterly mundane you know what i'm talking about those everyday topics like delivering a status update to the client talking about budget issues or allocation elaborating on technical details in a room full of people who don't quite relate to the topic Most of us think of them as dull and boring topics. How in the world do you use storytelling to make these topics interesting? Well, here's the secret. Most of us think of these presentations as a way to convey updates. Think about it. We prepare these presentations with the objective of telling our audience what's new or what's happening. Instead, our approach should be about persuading our audience. Think about it. How differently would you approach your presentation if you wanted to persuade your audience that your topic will change their mindsets? There's a really cool video by Nancy Duarte, a storytelling expert, where she mentions that stories and reports are on the opposite end of a spectrum. And to bridge the gap between these two, we need to weave our story into a presentation that captures and showcases the meaning of our report. I've provided the link to this talk here you can see it uh, below this slide i'll also provide it after this video so what we'll do is in the next video we'll use a popular and highly effective framework to understand how storytelling can be used in tableau and more important repeat so in the next video what we'll do is we'll use a popular and highly effective framework to understand how we can use storytelling when we are building presentations and stories and then after that we'll apply that framework in tableau and see how to build a storyboard Storytelling is a very powerful tool isn't it we use it on a daily basis without even realizing it half the time when you're talking to your colleagues friends supervisors or even clients we often cite past examples to explain our thought process that's nothing but us weaving a story in this video we are going to see a very popular and incredibly effective storytelling framework it's used by executives consultants data science professionals Honestly a lot of business people around the world and in the technical world of data science storytelling takes on even more importance as i mentioned earlier 
it bridges the gap between data scientists and non-technical folks in the marketing, finance, sales fields. It helps high-level executives, C-suite executives, understand the nuances of your analysis. So in short, storytelling helps us break down complex numbers and transform them into easy-to-understand and digestible information and analysis. Exactly what leadership and decision makers look for. I want you to cast your mind back to a few presentations that you've seen recently, but you don't remember a lot about what was presented. Can you think about why that is? My first guess, you found the topic boring and the presentation even duller. Most presentations about products, updates, initiatives, they start with a vague theme. For example, we have a new strategy for customer satisfaction. Or, the credit risk model didn't work out as we thought, so we changed the way we approach the problem. Or, we're going to increase focus on product testing. While all of this might make sense to us who have been working on it, we need to think of it from the audience's perspective. Remember, I mentioned audience as being a key element when we were talking about dashboards. It applies here as well. Most of your clients might not understand this and we risk losing their attention. If these pitches were being judged out of 5, that is how much they would score. Not good enough. So, instead of starting with a theme, we can lean on stories using a classic 3-step framework. This is the villain, victim and hero framework. Intrigued? Honestly, I was too when I first came across this. Sounds like it came straight from a story. But as we'll soon see, it is super useful in a business setting. Let me show you how using a simple example that most of us, I'm pretty sure all of us, can relate to. We all have smartphones and if I had to pick the most common complaint, it would have to be with battery life, right? A recent software update rolled out by the company has led to battery problems across all handsets. That's what we're working with here. The problem has been around for way too long and is quite a frustrating aspect given how much technology has changed. Since the first iPhone brought in the smartphone revolution all the way back in 2008, it is an all too familiar situation. Now, I want you to pause the video and think about this. Pick out the villain, victim and hero in this example. The villain here is the software update that's destroying the phone's battery. The victim? Well, that's us. All of the folks who installed the latest update are suffering from this issue. And the hero? Well, that'll have to be a new update from the company that will rectify this situation. This is how effective and honestly simple the villain-victim-hero framework is. Did you see how we created a story out of a simple case study? We can use this in presentations, speeches, conversations, blog posts, honestly anywhere across the board when we are communicating. Let me take a data science problem to further solidify our understanding of the storytelling framework. Let's say that you've recently joined ABC company as a data scientist. ABC is a relatively new company in the e-commerce market and has thousands of products in its catalog. Right now though, there's no personalization on the portal. All the customers and visitors are served up a most popular product section regardless of their purchase history and browsing patterns. Now here's the task. You need to come up with a story to convince the leadership team to deploy a recommendation engine. Use the villain victim hero framework to do this. Again, I would encourage you to pause the video and try it out before we move ahead. Just use a pen and paper and just map it out. Just take bullet points and map them to the villain victim hero framework. Once you're ready, press play. Let's create our story. The villain will be the sheer lack of personalization on the portal due to no recommendation engine being present. The victims, well, they're twofold here. Of course, the customers visiting our portal, both new ones and returning or loyal ones, they're being given the popular product section. All the other e-commerce giants are customizing user experience, while our portal is way behind in that regard. Second, the company's bottom line is taking a hit because low engagement means less visitors coming back. That's our second victim. So what could be the hero or the savior here? A recommendation engine, build and deploy one to personalize and customize the customer's experience and drive up the revenue. We can further deep dive into each stage here to expand our story before we prepare the presentation. You can give examples from the industry, use your competitors, evaluate the market benchmark and just weave those details into your story. So the last two videos were all about setting up the storytelling idea, the storytelling framework. Now in the next video, we'll dive into Tableau and understand how we can create a story 
using our existing dashboards or visualizations. It's actually pretty straightforward and yet a very effective method to basically replace PowerPoint with a Tableau storyboard. PowerPoint presentations have their advantages, no doubt about it. But interactivity is not one of them. That's one of the primary reasons the phrase death by PowerPoint was coined. This is especially true when we are presenting numbers and outcomes of our research. Wouldn't you prefer if the presentation was dynamic and interactive in that case? Tableau enables us to do just that using a feature called Story. We can create multiple interactive storyboards to structure and present our story to our audience. But just before we get into Tableau, let's first put down a blueprint and structure our story. Again, I strongly encourage you to do this before opening Tableau. Having the structure prepared beforehand always makes the designing part much smoother and quicker. So let's quickly revise the three-step storytelling framework we discussed in the previous video. It was the villain, victim and hero framework. The villain is the problem at hand, the victim is the audience or the thing or the person who is affected by the villain and the hero of course is the solution to the problem. We covered a couple of examples earlier. Now let's apply this framework to Superstore's problem. And to do that, let's first understand the problem statement. So Superstore's leadership team is expanding to ensure that each region in the United States has an individual head. Now there are four regions in the US, Central, East, West and the South. So we have been asked by the leadership team to drill down into the numbers and prepare a presentation that showcases how each region is doing in terms of profits. Just a quick note, this isn't just a profits by region breakdown. That would be way too simplistic. We need to show a much more granular analysis so that we can just show the regional heads which product categories and segments are profitable and maybe even more importantly, which are not. Now let's plug this into a three-step framework. The villain, well, that's currently the problem of having no clear insight into how my regions are doing in terms of profits. We've looked at sales before, but not quite profits, especially when it comes to regions. The victim, well, that superstore sales strategy, which is right now not structured in any sort of way to cater to regions specifically. This, of course, is also impacting superstore's revenue. And a hero is a clear picture or a story that drills down into each region to showcase how profits are distributed across segments and categories. So, are you ready to build your first storyboard in Tableau and help Supers to understand the regional profits? This was our framework for building a storyboard for Superstore's team. So think about which features should we use in a final storyboard. You know the features by heart at this point, so just think of which ones you'll use so that we can arrive at this hero step. The temptation, and I understand this, is to fill it in with as much information as we can. But that's not a good idea, especially when our audience is C-suite executives. So let's do one thing. Let's open up a new instance of Tableau and let's see what we have to work with. Right. So just go ahead and use the order sheet and you know how to do that at this point. And head to sheet one. Now, remember, we want the profit by region. So in this particular sheet, that's going to be pretty simple for us, straightforward. Just select profit and state, hit show me and just select the fill map here. And again, we'll just take care of the locations, go to edit locations, uh, go to country region, select from field. We have the United States, which is what we want. Hit OK. And there's a fill map. Perfect. So now the question is, why did we not use region, but state since we want profit by region, right? Well, this is because region in our data set is a string variable, while state is a geospatial one. So if I put region and profit, it won't show me the map. It'll just show me a bar chart. So this is the kind of insight and the information that needs to be at your fingertips when you're building these charts. So how do we use regions? Again, pretty straightforward. Just drag and drop an instance of your region into your filters. We just use all of them since that's what we want. Go ahead and click on apply. Click on OK. The next step is to just right click on region and click on show filter. So go ahead and do that. All right, and here we have it. Uh, I'll just change the format of this. I want a drop down, not a checkbox kind of thing. So let's just click on this next to region and select the single value drop down option. 
and there we go so just uh, play around with this for central we have this is the central region this is our east this is the west coast and this is the south region in our state so let's just go ahead and select all perfect so our filter option is working fine let's rename this to region profit perfect now open up a new sheet here we want a level of granularity to show the individual regional heads how their regions are doing in terms of products and segments this is where the segments feature will come into play this will be a very simple bar chart so drag and drop profit to your columns and segment to your rows let's filter this from top to bottom and select the entire view and that's it we're done rename this to segment profit right open up a new sheet again next you want to see the profits by categories we've done this plenty of times before so let's get that going drag and drop an instance of your profit to your columns and category to your rows all right let's just uh, do this from high to low and select the entire view and let's just rename this to category profit all right next let's get all of this into a dashboard so click on the new dashboard button here and let's first fix the view that's the first thing you should do whenever you open up a new dashboard select automatic and there we go and here we have the sheets that we just created all right so let's drag them in so let's drag the region profit in first then we'll do the segment profit i want it below this so i'll just put it here and i want the category profit right next to the segment profit so that's easy to analyze both of them side by side so let's just drag and drop it in here okay looking good next Uh, this is again using a lot of real estate in my dashboard so i'm going to go ahead and make this floating so just click on more options and click on floating here perfect let's just drag and drop this i'll just put it here seems to make a uh, sense here perfect that looks good now uh, we can filter this by region as well but you'll be noticing one thing here can you tell me what's wrong with this filter That's right. Whenever I'm filtering this, my region profit is filtering perfectly fine, but my segment profit and category profit visualizations are not moving. They're static. This is because the filter option is currently only applied to my region profit sheet. Now let me show you a very effective tip or a trick that will enable you to put these filters across all your worksheets. Right. So let me just select all here first. Right. Let's now go to this sheet first. Right so click on region right click on it or click on the drop down here next you'll see the option apply to worksheets go to that here we have four options right now the filter has been applied only to this worksheet the other options are all using related data sources apply it to all of them using this particular data source or to selected worksheets since right now we want to apply it to all the sheets using this data source which is the order sheet Let's go ahead and click on that. You'll notice that a cylinder icon has popped up. This means that your filter is now being used across your Tableau worksheet. And when I go to segment profit, you'll notice it's been applied here as well to category profit here. And let's see if it works in a dashboard. Go and click on regions drop down and let's select central. And as you can see, we have category profit for that particular region. Perfect. East and again segment and category have been updated accordingly. This is exactly what we want. Let's rename this to region profit dashboard first. Perfect. So let me just go ahead and click on all and get this into place. One last thing before we get into the storyboarding aspect, I want the region name to display in the title. All three visualizations should have that. So uh, again we did this in the previous module when we were talking about dashboards. So just go ahead and click on the title. We have the sheet name uh, hard coded. So let's just put the region name here and let's see if it works. click on apply click on okay and uh, let's play around with this let's see and it is updating perfect let's go ahead and do that for uh, each visualization for region apply click on okay it's working here as well and for the category profit let's go ahead and hard code region into this click apply click okay and uh, let's just see it's a south yes it's working good 
remember last uh, time when we did this uh, hard coding for each particular visualization we had to go into each uh, worksheet and specifically drag and drop the feature into the details card we didn't need to do that here this is because our filters option already has been applied to each visualization by making it global so this was a pretty straightforward move yes now it's time to get into storytelling so open up a new story this is the story icon so go ahead and click on that and this is our storyboard here you can see the four uh, three worksheets and the dashboard that we've created this time unlike the dashboard which had the layout option above we have it below here so first thing i want to do is i want to just put this into the automatic size right now drag and drop the dashboard into your space here looks nice right now there's one thing about story that you should be aware of in one slide basically this particular thing you can only put one visualization or one item if i drag and drop region profit in here it'll just automatically replace the dashboard so that's one slide limitation of uh, the storyboard in tableau is you can only use one item at a time for one slide next i want you to focus on the top left you have two tabs here story and layout story which we can see here let's go to the layout option here we have the navigator style basically what do we want at the top of our storyboard right now by default it has caption boxes which allow us to basically type in whatever we want there and we'll use that in a second other options are you can show numbers basically which uh, particular slide or which slide number the storyboard is on we have dots as well and we only have arrows which basically will uh, as you keep increasing the slides the arrows will uh, keep showing that depends entirely on what you want to show so since we want to bring out the insights in our particular story we'll just select caption boxes and head back to your story perfect this is the first slide the leadership team will see when they're looking at a story so let's put the caption in let's say this shows the overall profits for superstore across the united states perfect now to create a new slide basically to create the next step in our story we can either click blank or duplicate so let me go with blank first click on that and as you'll see a new storyboard has opened up drag and drop your dashboard in again and now we'll do a region by region analysis let's go with central first so just go ahead and click on that drop down so as you can see the dashboard has worked perfectly for us the central region has come up in the map and we have the segment profit and the category profit for the central region so what do you see here what's your insight what pops up at me immediately is that illinois and texas right now are bleeding there's a lot of losses there and one very uh, interesting insight is that the furniture segment or the category the furniture category is in losses where technology and office supplies are doing pretty decently so that's useful insight so that is what i'll add in my caption so let's say illinois and texas are operating in losses furniture category let me just correct that should be analyzed further and finally the corporate segment here is the most profitable one so let's uh, bring that inside out as well corporate segment is the most profitable all right so that's our second slide next now let me duplicate this because essentially this is the visualization we want across our storyboard so there's no point doing a blank every time let's just duplicate this now we want to analyze the east region so here what is your insight what do you think is happening here take a moment to think about it Interestingly all categories and segments here are profitable in the east region but Ohio and Pennsylvania these look concerning to me that's quite a lot of losses so what I'll do is I'll just remove this and mention that Pennsylvania and Ohio are operating in losses need to be looked at here all segments and categories are in profit I won't mention that here but it's pretty easy to understand by looking at the storyboard next click duplicate again let's analyze our south region just go ahead and click on south all right so here again segment and category are profitable but very interestingly when i go back to the east one 
home office for the second most profitable version here home office is the third and it's by quite a margin that is useful insights for me especially when i have region heads for all four regions sitting in the same place that tells me and tells them which segment to focus on so let me go ahead and remove this caption uh, i'll just mention home office segment is least profitable now there could be n number of reasons for this and this can be further analyzed by deep diving into it deep diving into the numbers creating a detailed report as we did earlier which is what i would encourage you to do but right now as far as the storyboard is concerned this insight is good enough for the regional heads to understand what's going wrong and where and finally we have one more region to look at and that's the west region so duplicate this click on the west and that's our west coast this looks pretty profitable to me booming profits here very interestingly office supplies is the most profitable category if you'll notice in all the other regions we had technology at the forefront here it's office supplies that's useful insight again so i'll just uh, bring that out are my most profitable category so this is how easily you can create a storyboard and when you send this across to your client or when you're presenting this it just sequentially makes sense and there's a very good structure to our presentation right now first we showed them the overall strategy overall what is the current picture then we dived into each region we looked at the central region the east the south and the west coast and we brought out some insights that we feel would be very important to the regional head so that they can focus on that particularly and there you are your very first storyboard in tableau that helps superstores regional heads understand which areas categories and segments they should first focus on as they incorporate themselves into the leadership team now there's one final thing i wanted to showcase before we just wrap this up let me show you how we can further add insights into our story using the annotations feature so let me go back to let's say the central uh, region here all right so just uh, Here, as we mentioned, the furniture category is the only one in losses, and we saw that across the four regions. So let me just highlight this particularly so that it's visible to the superstore team as soon as this slide comes up. So right-click on this furniture bar, go to annotate, and click on mark. Here, let's just remove this, and we'll just mention that the furniture category is operating in losses. I'll just correct this and click on okay. Actually just before I do that, just wanted to mention that when you create parameters and calculated fields, they will show up here in the insert button. So we've done this before. Remember when we were talking about tool tips and so on? So you can include that as well when you're building a story. But just for now, we'll use furniture categories operating in losses and click on okay. And there's your annotation. So you, what you can do is you can just uh, drag it anywhere you want. Let me just uh, drag that to the side here in the blank space and just click anywhere and here instantly i can see the furniture categories operating in losses is instantly visible whenever i'm looking at this slide that's useful and you can do this across your storyboard if you want to bring out that the consumer segment is the most profitable you can mention that by using annotations and so on use this prudently though don't keep adding it on and on because then it leads to what i've been referring to as visual clutter throughout the course so keep that in mind And that wraps up our Tableau course. We've covered a lot of ground from designing your first visualization in Tableau to creating an entire storyboard for a client. That is impressive. Thanks again and reach out to me in the discussion forum for any questions or suggestions.